Hi, I am Sophia Wang. I am the CEO of MycoWorks. MycoWorks is a biomaterials company that is changing the way things are made. And we're starting today with leather. Leather's been around a long time. It's beautiful, durable, functional. It's primal, it's a hide, it feels good to the touch. It delivers status, luxury, and comfort. And we love it because it's natural. But leather is a co-product of the livestock industry. Think of the resources and time this takes. This industry uses 50% of this country's water supply and 30% of the Earth's land mass. This industry produces 18% of the Earth's greenhouse gas emissions. And producing leather is costly and wasteful. Only 30% of an untreated hide gets turned into leather. The rest gets thrown away. Tanneries produced toxic, toxic waste, subject to regulatory fines and human health violations. And because leather is tied to livestock, price and quality are vulnerable to climate and availability. But people love leather. Cattle populations grow with human populations at 3% a year, but the global leather goods market and consumer demand is growing at a rate of 4% to 7% a year. So desire and demand aren't going anywhere, and neither are the problems. This is an opportunity. MycoWorks has an amazing answer, and it comes, of course, from nature. Our technology is based on mushrooms, one of the most abundant resources on the planet. The root fibers of mushrooms are called mycelium, and it's a naturally strong fiber that grows on almost anything under the sun. We have discovered a way to turn mycelium and agricultural waste into a natural alternative to leather. So we're not replacing leather, we have something even better. People are always blown away by how much our material feels like leather. That's because, like leather, it's a skin, it was grown, it was alive, it's organic. It's also durable. It holds up to industrial sewing and fabrication, and our mechanical tests show that our materials outperform deer and lambs leather and synthetic leather in tensile strength tests. It's versatile, we've created a nearly endless range of colors and finishes, and it's engineerable. So we can customize growth to express, express patterns and textures, we can customize for thickness, density, and three-dimensional features. You can't do this with animals. You also can't grow an animal to create a hide of any size and shape. We can do this with our technology. When we first started at IndieBio, we had grown a piece that was one square inch. Within a month, we had grown a sheet that was two by three feet. Within two months, we had grown a piece the size of a full-scale cow hide. That's one cow saved. <laughs> and uh, we're, we're, quickly, we're quickly scaling beyond that. So um, we're scaling fast. We can do that because our process is rapid. Compare the two weeks it takes us right now to grow a sheet of our leather to the average three years it takes to raise an animal to maturity to harvest a hide. So this is an ultra-sustainable technology with no downsides. Our closed-loop process has low water and energy requirements. We can grow multiple sheets on the same ag waste, which means this is a carbon-negative process. And at the end of product life, our leather is biodegradable and mycelium is a benefit to the earth, not a pollutant. Best of all, our low-complexity process means that we can compete with leather right now. In our first year of pilot production, we'll be making sheets of our leather at $50 a square foot. We can compete with exotic leathers used by manufacturers of high-end footwear. That's our first target market. With greater volumes, we'll be able to bring the cost down to $30 a square foot. We'll compete with top quality leathers and serve manufacturers of premium footwear, apparel, and accessories. And within four years, we're gonna bring our raw material production in-house, which will drop our cost down to $5 a square foot which means we can compete with nearly any leather on the market, we'll serve manufacturers of mass market leather goods. We know we can scale with these projections because we're scaling our, scaling our, modeling our scale up on systems already in place to produce edible mushrooms in commercial volumes. So we'll use similar tech and reorient it towards making materials. We know we can make 150,000 square feet of this leather in a 6,000 square foot facility. So we already know what we need because this infrastructure already exists. We'll be competing with natural leather, conventional leather, synthetic leather, and biofabricated leather. But 
Unlike us, these competitors do not have a solution that's scalable, sustainable, animal-free, and low-cost right now. The markets are huge. Of the 23 billion square feet of leather produced every year, the largest outlet for that is footwear, valued at $47 billion. The leather goods market is valued at $200 billion, and footwear represents almost 60% of that market. We've got great traction. I can't disclose names, but we're working with two global footwear manufacturers and a global apparel manufacturer, all household names, to get our leather into products next year. Our patent's been granted. We've filed another one for this tech. We'll have a full product data sheet and a pilot facility by the end of the year. Pilot production starts next year. We'll scale to commercial volumes in the following year, and that'll allow us to expand beyond footwear to other good leather goods markets. We have an amazing production research team, and we are so proud to be working with our advisors, Dr. Drew Endy, co-founder of the Buy Our Bricks Foundation, Dr. Amanda Parks of Manufacture New York, who shares our commitment to innovating fashion with technology, and Kevin Bayek of Lift Economy, who shares our commitment to social impact and sustainability. Our CTO, Phil Ross, invented the field of mycotexture, and he has 20 years experience developing mycelium as a structural material. Our senior advisor, Eddie Pablo, has 20 years of executive management experience. And I started working with Phil 10 years ago when no one had heard of mycotexture. And I'm so proud to have helped bring this tech to where it is today. Mushrooms, we've known their culinary and medicinal value for a long time. And we're only now starting to unleash their potential as a structural material. Mushroom materials are now being used in packaging, furniture, interior design, and more. And we are so excited to be bringing mushroom leather to the world. We're already making product. <laughs> um, this, <laughs> this is just the start. There are so many industries that we're going to change for the better. As one of our partners likes to say, we are on the cusp of the mycocultural revolution. We are raising a 2.3 million seed to scale to pilot and grow our team. Our round is firming up, so please get in touch to help bring this amazing technology to the world. And please come see us after the presentations and see and feel for yourself what we've made. Thank you. Thank you.